everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out and I'm back with another thrift haul for you. And this time I went to about three different places within the past week or so, so I thought it'd be fun to share with you what I found from those places. So first up is Salvation Army and I went to the one in Rancho Cordova for any of you that are familiar. Um, it happens to be the closest one to me which is about a 20 minute drive from my house so it's a little far but I thought I'd check it out. Um, and I heard that they had uh, different sales uh, every day of the week on their clothing because they do the colored tags, so they do different uh, percentages off every day. So the day that I happened to go was a Saturday, and they had 40% off of all clothing except for purple tags. So I thought that was pretty cool that everything was game for the uh, discount except for the purple ones, which I don't know why. I guess maybe they were the newest items. But uh, let's jump into it. I'll show you guys what I got, including this lovely dress here. I know it's very 90s, but I was really drawn to the shape of it. I thought the shape was very uh, 50s inspired because it's more fitted through the waist and then kind of goes out from there, which is like exactly the type of dress that I like. Um, so let me get up here so you guys can see the detail. I love the buttons down the front here. I think those are very cute. And then hello, it's got pockets. I mean, that's a win. <laughs> so once I found that out, it was like done. Throw it in the cart. Let's go. Um, so I added this cute little white belt that I found at, uh, I believe, the SPCA thrift store uh, in downtown Sacramento. And I want to say that was under $2. And the dress was $4.99. And this was the only thing that I got that was a purple tag. So it was full price, but $5 is pretty great for a dress. Um, so I think that this is really great and very cute for summertime, and it's right up my alley. I love the shape of this dress, and I think it is so cute. What do you guys think? The next thing I found at Salvation Army was this adorable dress here, and I was really drawn to the um, print and the colors. I really like the contrast between the royal blue and the black. I thought that was really cool. And of course, the collar I just think is darling. Um, so this one was only $3.99 and then 40% off of that, so you really can't beat that for a dress like this. But I think that this is just too cute. And with some little classic black pumps, I'll be good to go. So next at Salvation Army, I found this pair of J. Crew shorts, and I thought they were so cute. Obviously, they're stripes, so they drew me in. I'm a sucker for stripes and polka dots. I just can't help it. Um, but these were also $3.99 at 40% off. So for J. Crew shorts, I think that's awesome. And I really love the detail on the buttons. They've got this really cute um, anchor detail, so that's so cute for summertime. But these are just great and I don't know how much these would cost regularly if you were to go buy them now maybe minimum of $50 so to find them at uh, a thrift store in really good condition can't beat it all right so the final item that I found at Salvation Army was this Anne Klein kind of a caged heart necklace and it actually still has the original tag on it which is really cool but this was only four dollars and um, I'm pretty picky when it comes to my jewelry. I know that I have a lot. You guys can kind of tell over behind me. Um, but uh, I liked kind of the interesting shape of this, but also the simplicity of it, that I could just wear it with a black dress and uh, be good to go. So I was really drawn to this and just had to, had to have it. So I thought that was really, really cute. All right, so that wraps up my mini haul from Salvation Army, and I did want to make a note that at least the store that I went to in Rancho Cordova does not have a fitting room, which I thought was kind of crazy. And um, I think Salvation Army might want to rethink that because um, something tells me that they're probably missing out on quite a few sales because you can't try things on to know if they fit properly. And um, I know that I have a lot of clothing, but even I, if I'm getting a good deal, try to be, you know, selective in what I get. I don't want to end up with a ton of clothing that's not going to fit, that's just a waste, even if it was $2. So I think Salvation Army needs to rethink that. I think they can, you know, easily put in a dressing room area, and you can even make it the janky kind. That's fine. The ones with the curtains, I'll take it. I just want to be able to try on my dress. So, you know, maybe give it some thought. But uh, they did, they had one mirror, <laughs> one mirror, which I thought was nuts. Uh, so me and a couple of other girls were kind of huddled around it, kind of holding things up and trying shirts on over what we already had. And um, if you guys don't already know the trick for pants and skirts, let me show you, hold on. So what you do to find out if something is going to fit you around your waist is you take the item 
and you put it around your neck and if it comfortably fits you around your neck it's not too tight or too loose that means it's going to fit you around your waist so hopefully I helped you out a little bit when you're in those predicaments where you can't try on uh, bottoms so try it out next time to see if it works but it's proven pretty well for me so check it out so next I'm going to share with you what I found at Eco Thrift. I went on Mother's Day with my mom. She decided she wanted to go there and to the mall to spend her day. So I was only so happy to oblige. Um, but I found not clothing, but a couple of pairs of shoes that are pretty great. So the first pair of shoes that I found were these awesome Keds. Check these out. They're pretty great. They're in wonderful condition. But it was so funny because literally about a minute before I found these, I was talking to my mom and I said something like, it would be so great to find some kind of denim colored ballet flat or sneakers or something. I think they would really come in handy for a whole bunch of outfits that I have. And then look at what the thrift gods bestowed upon me. These amazing, in perfect condition, denim colored kets in my size. And um, I do have to say, for thrift store shopping, they were a little on the high side. They were $20, but I was kind of happy to pay that because at Macy's, where you can get them around here, they're at least $45. So I think $20 was not too bad, and I know I'm really going to wear these a lot. I kind of love that look with a cute little dress and little sneakers like this, so love them. So the next pair of shoes that I found at Eco Thrift were these really gorgeous vintage pumps here and they're actually um, velvet and they've got this really cool uh, rhinestone detail around the front so the weird thing about these was that there were a ton of different variations of this shoe so all different kinds of um, pumps with the velvet and different gold accents in a whole range of sizes um, so I, I don't know what the story is with that. They're all never been worn before. They came with the paper still stuffed in the toe. Um, and they all look to be from the 80s. So I have no idea where they came from. But these are pretty cool. And these were only $4. Actually just under $4. They were $3.98. Alright, so next I'm going to share with you the items that I got at the Freestyle Outlet. And while that isn't a traditional thrift store, um, they do sell used clothing, which is awesome. Um, and the outlet is actually kind of the cast-offs from all of the um, stores in the area, the things that they just can't sell. So they have really great price points. I want to say the average for pieces there is somewhere between $1.99 and about $8.99. Um, which, you know, some of the dresses get a little bit more than that, but it's a pretty great deal and they even do half off of some of the items there that still won't sell from the outlet store. So you can get, you know, a shirt for $3 or a skirt for $2, so it's pretty awesome. So I want to share with you guys what I found there. So first I found this little skirt and it's from one of the designer collaborations with Target. Um, I want to say it was a few years ago that this one was uh, actually in stores. Um, but I thought it was really cool for summer and I really love the shape of it. It fits really um, high up on the waist and then goes out from there in that shape that I love. Um, and this was half off of $6.99, so really, really great. But I think that this will be really cute with a little t-shirt, maybe a little denim jacket for those uh, cool summer nights. So, love this one. Alright, so next up from the Freestyle Outlet, I found this Charter Club skirt, and it's actually still got the original tags on it from Macy's, but it was um, on sale at the Freestyle Outlet for $4.99, which I thought was pretty great, but I really liked the kind of sheen that this one has, and again, I really love the shape of this one. Um, so it's still got that very uh, 50s influence, but I think it's um, a lot more modern for today's time. Um, so I think that this one will be really cute with a printed blouse on top and maybe a really wide colored belt. So we'll see how that works out, but I really like this one. So the next item from the Freestyle Outlet that I got was this really cute striped top. And uh, it's navy and red, the stripes here, and then with these really adorable red buttons as well. And um, I was kind of waiting in the line and just happened to pass by their uh, blouses that I thought I had already looked at, but missed this little guy. 
So I just had to grab it and I just tried it out, you know, on the floor in front of the mirror and it fits perfectly. But I think that this is just so cute. Um, so this will be cute with, you know, white capri pants or tucked into a skirt. Um, but I just, I was drawn to it, of course, the stripes and just the cute little buttons. And this was only $3.99. So really like this one. All right, so the last item that I got at the Freestyle Outlet was this adorable woven vintage bag here. And it's got these cute little polka dots on it. And you guys can probably tell that there are two missing. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to remove more to make it kind of a different pattern on there or what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. And I kind of love how it's kind of the longer style to fit on your side. But I just think that it's adorable. Um, but this one was only $4.99 as well. And I actually happened to have a gift card for Freestyle because I had sold stuff previously and just thought I'll put it on a gift card. I know I'll use it. And lo and behold, I did at the outlet to get all of these really awesome items. So let me know what you guys think of everything that I got. If you have favorites or how you would style them, I would love to hear that. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed that haul and thanks for stopping by. I want to make sure to tell you about the Thrift Your Heart Outfit contest, which is on my website, thriftyourheartout.wordpress.com. And the theme for this month is uh, Dress to the Nine, so I want to see your best thrifted outfit for a night out on the town. So make sure to share that with me. And uh, as always, happy thrifting! Thanks!